Hey y'all, it's day 15 and um, I'm actually really happy that I'm checking uh, checking in with you right now because I can now confirm by looking at myself in the camera here that I don't have chocolate all over my face, which is a really good thing because um, I've been eating this, which is absolutely delicious, um, highly recommend. Um, and yeah, I was gonna talk about food today. Um, I was just having a conversation with a friend um, and it, it, it was sort of it, it in jest uh, came up that I was very tired because um, that's how I'm feeling today is really, really tired um, and very grateful that it's Friday and apparently unable to keep my phone steady as well. So I apologize for that. Ah, see, I'm moving all over the place. Um, <laughs> trying to get my arm tripod a little more stable there. All right, there we go. I think we're I think we're in business at this point. Um, anyway, it was a sort of a joke about how tired I was and I said I was just going to pass out on my face with my shoes on and that actually reminded me of something that I thought I would talk about today, which is a little bit about my own experience. Um, I know I've been speaking a little more broadly recently, um, but um, I think it was just a reminder to me of places that I was and places where I am in um, dealing with having bipolar disorder. Um, and so um, when I wrote about my experiences on the essay commits blog, um, one of the things that I shared was that you know being consistent was not an, was not something I was very good at, um, and so like something like uh, brushing my teeth or putting on pajamas on a daily basis um, was actually a really big deal and something that I really wasn't able to do consistently. Um, and so, you know, there would be, there would be days, there'd be nights where I may not fall asleep in my own bed. Um, I mean, these are, these are when I fell asleep at all, but, um, I may not fall asleep in my own bed or I may fall asleep in my own bed in my clothes, sometimes on top of the covers with shoes on. Um, and you know, I, I think about it and I think about, um, my life since I started taking medication and started doing sort of more management of my behaviors and the things that I do to make my life easier. And, um, and I can't remember the last time that I did that. Um, and I want to say it's been at least two years. Um, gosh, yeah, I think it's been at least two years and I, that's a really, uh, small thing I think for most people. Um, but for me, as I'm thinking about it, I'm realizing that that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, and so I guess my, the point of sharing all this is both to talk about the impact of how being bipolar may um, make it harder for me to function in quote a sort of normal way, um, but also, um, you know, the, the importance of celebrating the baby steps in life. Um, you know, that, that uh, it, it no longer seems to be too much work for me to take off my shoes or put on my pajamas, or brush my teeth, or take my medication, um, or eat. So yeah, so I'm gonna get back to my snack and finish up my work day. Um, so all y'all have a great rest of your Friday, and I will talk to you tomorrow.